Hey everyone, Eric Swanson from LiveRC.com here. This is our first day at the track in Thailand for the 2010 IFMAR World Championships. No race teams here yet, just the track crew and ourselves doing some final prep work. Now, racers are set to arrive here in the next couple days and racing action is set to start in about four days. We wanted to give you a quick look at the track and the facility as it is looking pretty nice. Should be ready to go here in just a couple days. Here is the radio impound area leading to the massive driver stand that overlooks the IFMAR World Championship track. Look at this uh, booth here at the end of the driver stand. This would make a pretty cool scoring booth for most of us, but uh, it's not the case here in Thailand. There's another one at the other end of the driver stand. And they will be used for spotters and officials. That thing over there that looks like an air traffic control tower, that is your scoring booth. All around the track you'll see storage containers that have been retrofitted as pit rooms, complete with tables and air conditioning and live scoring. It is pretty much insane. Some of the pit area here underneath the driver stand being prepared for various countries. This is only part of the pit area though. We also have what could be a called tent city, except in this case they are not tents. They are again storage containers with air conditioning units in every one of them. It's another shot of the storage containers from the outside of the track as well as the massive sign with full neon. It is displayed right at the gate to the track. Oh yeah, there's a lot of those moped things around too. Try not to get hit. This is the view of the track here if you are a spectator. There are bleachers built on top of the storage containers. Right now I'm a good two to three stories high off the ground, so you can only imagine that these will be prime seating areas come Sunday the 14th for the main event. Here are the largest jumps on the track, the double on the short back straightaway. As maybe you can see, they are above my head, and I am 5'11", so everything is freshly painted. There is new sod laid down, and things are looking good here in Thailand. There are various parts of the track that have this thick boat anchor rope on it, used as a barrier, which actually looks kind of cool. Here's one of the otter jump sections I've ever seen. It seems to be a mix of concrete and dirt with full steel fencing around it, which will do one of two things, depending on how you look at it. It'll keep your car on the track, or it will probably destroy it if you hit it. It's another shot of the massive driver stand. One of the more interesting pit areas you'll find, complete with palm trees, rock decorating, and what looks to be some sort of hay-covered shack. More buildings on the property here at the facility, as well as the radio control boat track, which I hear is quite popular. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but uh, seems to be guarding the female restroom. Watch out. Just in case you want to go deep sea fishing here while you're racing in Thailand, the track also offers equipment for you to pursue that dream. I think there's about to be a cockfight. 